For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's Matthew 12, 34. Words reveal a father's heart. And I want to talk a little bit today and encourage fathers to examine your hearts. Examine what's on the inside of who you are. What motivates you? What drives you? What the condition of your internal man is? That is you. Okay? And so, let's look at some things that I wrote down here about this. That which springs from a man's heart, his words, reveal what's on the inside. And so, if you're a happy person, it shows by the words that come out of your mouth, by the attitude, the disposition that you have. And also, if you're miserable, you're going to generate miserable words and behaviors. It shows in the way you handled your life, in the way that you relate to your kids. A miserable man generates misery. A man full of bitterness, resentment, Anger, rage, and discontent radiates meanness. And so the words from such a person will be consistent with the condition of his heart. Children know when their father's heart is not right. They know by his words. And because fathers cannot fake it. I mean, we can try, but when we're not right, when things are not right with us, we're not right with God, it just pours out. It pours out. And so, we can't fake a damaged, hurt, painful, tortured, negative condition of our heart if that's the situation. So there's something wrong with a father when he speaks words that curse his children. His spirit is not right. He's not right with himself, and he's not right with God. So, a wounded, broken heart, spirit, may have come from many things. Maybe the father, and maybe you're one, that your father was cruel, your father was uh, said things, acted in ways that hurt. And so, sometimes a father, his cruel words... And his behaviors or even abandonment and rejection could create that wound, that father wound. And that may cause a man over time, a boy over time to get bitter. And then, of course, he has the words that are consistent with his heart. And so these emotional experiences in his life that were brought on by others. So he has a bad heart, as so to speak. Sometimes these hearts, these bad, bad hearts, these wounded hearts are developed out of our own sins, things that we do that we deliberately disobey God, and it may not be so much related to what somebody else did to us. It, it is our own sinful nature and us giving into it, and that can create a lot of problems. Whatever the condition, the heart, heart problems have, have so many forms. They can take so many manifestations, but they all produce negative results if it's a, a wound. Now, of course, if your heart's right with God and uh, you're walking with the Lord, you uh, you ask for forgiveness, you recover from the, the problems, or the, the, the mess ups that you have in life, uh, that's different. Your heart is right. Your heart is good. You know, you we are being perfected. We're working out our salvation with fear and trembling. We're growing. We are, we're moving in the Lord that way. But if our hearts are broken and we're backpedaling or staying still or, or getting worse, we're getting, going to get worse. So, heart problems. What our father does is he justifies his domineering, forceful position and behavior with his child out of his own brokenness. And so, what I want to do is I want to encourage you uh, today that to develop a good heart, to develop a heart that's right, first with God, and then it will come out with your children in the way you relate to them. And so you can clean up things. A father can go to his son, for example, 
and say things like, you know, Michael, I'm real sorry for what I did the other day when I behaved uh, in such a, a, a bad way to you, uh, when I told you to zip up your mouth, you lazy, uh, you lazy bum, just be quiet, take out the trash, and, and get to your room, and that was wrong, and I'm sorry, please forgive me. I mean, things like that can be cleaned up, okay? When a father admits he's wrong and wants to reconcile his behavior towards his uh, children, that goes a long way. And that's having a right heart. That's fixing things. And so it is my prayer, it, it is my encouragement to you right now that if you're in that situation where, you know, time and time again, you find that you're negative, you find that you're uh, saying things, doing things that are wounding your children, take a step back. Get right with the Lord. Get help. Go, go develop friendships. Go to your pastor. People you can trust. The Christian community. People that have been there. People that want to help you. People that can come along and understand. Develop relationships with these guys. There are Caleb's out there. There are Joshua's out there. There are men who have fallen and risen again. I don't mean rise like, you know, in, in some kind of glory and pride, but men who have gotten up because they allowed God in their humility, in their humility, to for God to raise them up and clean up their act. So a father who keeps his heart right with God on a daily basis rarely slips into using bad words and actions towards his family, towards his children. And so I want to encourage you to uh, admit your mistakes, keep a short account of your wrongs, uh, and uh, always resolve the problems that you have with your children. And this is possible. And so I just want to encourage you, fathers, examine your heart. Get your heart right with God. I just pray that you are blessed by what you heard here and you're not quickened to the core where it hurts so much, but you're more inspired and more encouraged to grow and deal with those issues if you have issues today. And I just pray this in Jesus' name. God bless you, fathers.